Here in North Palm Beach, Florida, working on this 56th Viking, our customer states that his boat is possessed. It has a mind of its own, and we're here to determine if it does. Follow us after we correct the situation and do a sea trial with the customer. Julian, are you awake? We have a high urgency call. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Palm Beach is really pretty. Just look at all those yachts. Look at all those chickens. Well, on the 2003 56-foot Viking with twin bands, 1,500 horsepower that does 40 knots, twin station with a mechanical override system. This baby's pretty sweet. You got a whole living space, ginormous kitchen with dining. Then you got a massive master with your own private bathroom and for your guest two bunks that's pretty cool we're going to be removing these two side mount mechanical control heads and this touch pad does it look like it could fit in there yeah you could fit in there if you... i could fit in there you could fit in there i'm like double your size that's fine Show the world that you could do it. Let's see if he's doing what I asked him to do. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. You already said that. Julian, why are you taking so long? I would have been out already. Yeah, because you fit in here. As you can see, I'm in the hole actually doing my job. I was able to get the port side to come out and um, now time to start working on the starboard. So we were able to disconnect them. Now it's just time to pull them out. As you can see, they're gonna slide right out, just like that. See, these are the hands of a real man. Dad, let me see your hands. Look, they're dirty. Little, they're dirty. what a little. They're dirty. Uh huh. Look, I have Tef gel all over here. Sure. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come here. Come here. It's stick. I got prima donna coming out of the hole now. He thinks he's done. Um, I could tell you that's the wrong way to get out of there. Uh, go back in. Go back in. Okay. He likes doing things the hard way. You see? <laughs> Go back in and, and come out. No, go back. Oh my God. <laughs> what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Hella ass, the sun is still out. Let me see. I guess you're a newbie. Get the hard part. Sure. Okay. You see? A, a good technician's hands are always clean. So you sure we'll about that? We remove the port installer, mechanical side mount controls. And we're going to be removing the touch button. Let's see if he did what he had to do. Okay. Nice. Perfect. What'd you say? Yeah, perfect. I finally did it. I finally did a good job. All right, this customer, he ordered it when I did this two years ago with a mechanical over electrical control system. If the system would fail, he would have redundancy under a mechanical. But since he was operating the boat, he had some issues with electronic communication to the actuators. So we already notified the factory and the factory is going to resolve the situation for this customer and we're going to end up 
returning back to the boat and reinstalling it and doing a nice test drive. Today was a great success. Great success. Okay, so we're over here in Palm Beach, day two. Uh, we're gonna be reinstalling the side mount control heads along with the touchpad. Uh, the factory, um, it barely made it. Glen Denning has one of the best warranty programs. Um, it just missed it by a month and I was able to uh, get the warranty on the two side mount control heads taken care of. Cable on top. Cable's always on top. If the cable's on top, it has to go this way. Can't go that way, let's go that way. All right, Julian, you need to put it in the hole. Make sure you get it in the hole. It's in the hole. Okay. I'm pretty good at that. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the sleeve on from the outside. All right, Julian, so we got that one in. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna reverse the takeoff. You have to watch over him. Sometimes he goose. We have the shafts coming through here, and now we're gonna end up doing the other side, this side. Okay, now we're gonna work on the port side. So, I'm just gonna put the control head in. And we're gonna do this. Sometimes you could do it with one person, sometimes you need two people to do this. That's what she said! <laughs> now he's going to line up the center ring and let me know when it's ready for me to start tightening down. You should be able to... Alright, go ahead and push the whole shaft in. There you go. Beautiful. So we got two side mounts installed. The touch pad inside its hole. All right, Julian. So now we're gonna reverse. I like to put Tef gel on the shaft, the key away, and all the parts. So now when it goes in, it creates a slippery barrier. All right, so now we tighten our Allen screw. That holds. Our spline on the shaft. And now we connect our, install our control head. Now the control head is keyed, so you could be keyed in so many different variations. But we like to make sure that it's in neutral first. Once it's in neutral, then we could guide the handle. And install. You can see that I like to either put it right on the keel or a little bit below. It's a preference from the captain, however he likes it. So, it is imperative that you check the handle so that you're not actually hitting the helm when you're in forward. So, forward, we got enough clearance. Put it into neutral. This is all mechanical now. We have reverse. Come back. That's neutral. Right on the keel. All right, I'm going to test the starboard side now. Julian said he already put the linkage on there, so this is just temporary. So we're able to go into reverse. 
put it into neutral going forward uh, Julian did you screw up something's not right there that's supposed to be neutral let's see what he did did you screw this up no It looks good. I get it. Okay, just for my own insurance policy, it's not my fault. Um, he checked my work and it actually is to part. The only thing that seems to be the issue are the is the actual handle that's not letting it go into the four detent like so smooth. So it's not me. Just saying. I heard that. Yeah. It's Tell them it's not fault. my fault. It's the handle's fault. There we go. So everything seems to be working fine after we fixed that problem with the handle. Now we just have to work on that alarm. Right, the moment of truth. Perfect. Take two neutrals and then warm. So now Take the warm off, and now we're able to do a dry run. Forward, neutral, reverse, full throttle. Starboard side, forward, neutral, reverse, full throttle. All right. This is the starboard actuator. We're double checking all the connections that are done. No one has tampered with them. Just want to make sure everything is connected. Nothing is affecting them. All right. Now we're going to move over to the port side. The port side has two actuators. We have the trolling actuator, which is the white box. And then we have the gold one. This one here is the one that controls the shift and the throttle. Just need to make sure that all of our connections are nice and tight, that they haven't loosened. Uh, two years ago, this was installed. And uh, at the time, nice and clean, looks pretty. So now that everything's put back together, we spoke to the captain and now we're gonna be doing a sea trial. Like and subscribe.